In order to make a tree-mounted electric winch, you will first need to purchase an electric winch that will suit your needs. I purchased a 3,000 pound rated ATV winch. It is powered by a 12 volt ATV battery. To make the tree bracket, you will need to cut 1 inch square tubing, 2 6 inch pieces, and 2 12 inch pieces. Next, cut 4 pieces of 1 inch angle iron. Cut them 2 inches in length, making sure you cut a 45 degree angle on each end. Next, take a piece of square tubing that matches the dimensions of a receiver hitch on a truck and cut off 4 inches. Center the receiver piece in this fashion to the 1 inch square tubing. Secure with a C-clamp and weld pieces together. Next, weld the angle iron pieces onto the four corners of this bracket in this fashion. Using heavy flat steel, I trace out the base of the winch mounting channel. I will call this the winch mounting plate. I can now cut the lines which will guarantee a perfect fit to the channel. I will then clamp it together using vice grips. I will now flip it over and I will need a drill to mark the holes that will receive the bolts. I will then use a drill press to finish the holes. I will now need a piece of square tubing that I will call the winch mount tubing. The length will be the sum of your receiver and the winch plate. The size should fit perfectly in the receiver tubing, which is that receiver hitch tubing that I welded onto the tree bracket. Make sure these pieces telescope easily and do not hang up on each other. Place the winch mounting plate perfectly center on the end of the winch mount tubing. Clamp and weld the pieces together. Next, drill the pinholes at the end of the winch mount, making sure they're center and the bit goes all the way through. Do the same with the receiver on the tree bracket. Next, test the pieces to see if they fit together and that the holes line up. Finish by priming and painting each piece. The winch and its pieces can now be installed onto the winch mount. The winch can now be installed into the tree bracket or into a receiver hitch on a vehicle. For light duty, such as pulling a deer out of the hollow, I will use one ratchet strap to secure the tree bracket to the tree. For heavier loads, such as winching a vehicle, I would use heavy duty ratchet straps, one above the receiver and one below. Once the tree bracket has been secured on the tree, the winch can be installed into place and secured with a pin. To power the winch, I use an ATV battery or a lawn tractor battery, which are way more portable than a regular 12 volt car battery, and can be taken home and charged just the same. And now, with the press of a button, I can winch a heavy load without ruining my back. In this scenario, my son shot a deer that rolled to the bottom of a very deep hollow. I unreel the cable as far as it will go, which in this case is about 50 feet. I then hook it to a loop that I created in a rope that takes it the rest of the way down into the hollow. With a push of the button, the cable begins to reel in. Once the cable is completely in, I simply unhook from the loop of the rope extend the cable all the way out 50 feet and hook back into another loop on the rope. The load has now made it up the worst part of the incline, but since there's no effort, I'm going to take it the rest of the way. I brought this equipment into the woods in a cooler and transported it with my deer cart. The cooler is waterproof, so I can store the cooler out on the property all season. The only item I need to transport back and forth is the battery so I can take it home and recharge it for the next hunt.